next plant is Platanus racemosa in the Platanaceae, uh, another new genus and family for the class. And uh, this is your California sycamore, um, uh, another tree that is endemic to California. Um, sycamores, uh, there aren't that many species of sycamores. Uh, sycamores, there's an endemic species here in California. I think there's one in Arizona. Um, and then there's one in the East Coast. I think that's it for North America. And there might be some in Mexico, of course. Um, and then there's a couple species in Europe. And then I probably several in Asia. Um, sycamores have alternate leaves, okay? Alternate leaves that are simple and strongly lobed. Very reminiscent of a maple. They can have uh, three, five, seven strong lobes. And like big leaf maple, the underside um, is, is fuzzy, okay? But you should never mistake this for a maple because maples have opposite leaves. And sycamores have alternate leaves. Um, they also have this really cool uh, papery stipule. Um, uh, check that out. All right, so um, sycamores have very distinctive bark as well. Um, when they are large and at the base here, it can be kind of um, with overlapping brown kinds of scales. But when you look up um, towards the top of the tree, you'll see that this bark kind of peels off like um, little puzzle pieces and re revealing a very uh, smooth, um, kind of grayish, cream-colored um, uh, bark. And it's uh, very distinctive, very beautiful. And um, which is one reason why people really like to plant sycamores in cities. They can, al they can also deal with air pollution. Um, they do really well. Um, you are all familiar with sycamores in uh, UC Berkeley campus. Those are the trees that are pl planted around Sproul Plaza. Those are um, a tree from, it's actually a hybrid tree from Europe that they plant in, in this, in generally in the cities. Although sometimes um, you might find, uh, well, <laughs> never mind. You don't find this, the native endemic in cities. Um, where do you find it? You find it in um, drier parts of California, but all is associated with streams or um, arroyos, um, dry stream beds, like we are right now. Um, and interestingly enough, you just, you just don't find it um, where uh, in the wetter parts of, of, of low elevation California. So as soon as you get into like the wetter parts of Marin County or um, um, the, the kind of coastal side of, say, Big Sur, you never see uh, these plants, but as you go on the dry side, um, they, they become rather abundant. So you find them on the dry kind of uh, valleys um, and streams of the East Bay Hills, and then they're really also pretty common in the Sierra foothills. Um, so that's, and then they get into Southern California as well, probably all the way down into Baja, California. Um, all right, so your California sycamore, it's got alternate leaves that are really large, they're lobed, um, they're deciduous, they're fuzzy on the bottom, um, they're alternate. Did I say that? Alternate. So you should never confuse this with a big leaf maple. And they have very distinctive bark um, uh, that is kind of warty and um, with some overlapping plates um, at the base, but then the it's peeling and has a mottled smooth trunk towards the top of the tree.